New at 10, they have operated their mobile car wash for six years in the same city. Then they were told they'd have to leave because the city says they are not a mobile car wash. Confused? They were, and it's why they turned to Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. For some people, work is a foul four-letter word. For Paul Morales, that four-letter word is like. I'm a hard worker. I work every day, and I take passion in what I do, and they know that. Paul owns Super Shine Car Wash, and for six years, you could find him every day at the Market Plaza in Pembroke Pines. I like things to be, you know, perfect, clean, because I'm very clean from the inside and outside. The property owner let him park here, and then one day he got a warning letter from the city regarding the mobile car wash. He received... Um, a violation and they're going to charge him a thousand dollars a day. They said that we, we need to show our local um, business license. Carlene went to City Hall and showed their license. So I gave it to her. She did everything so I thought everything was okay. The lady in the place said I can go back to work. It's good to go. All started cleaning cars again. A month later, Pembroke Pines sent the landlord a new warning that the car wash had to be a part of the development plan of the plaza, which is nearly impossible. For us to be a part of development, that means it's, it's a new plaza. Pembroke Pines also sent out people to tell Paul, get out. Oh, no, 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 you guys have to move. No, 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 I'm gonna call the police. Paul left with his work van and left confused. We've been in that plaza for six years. We've never had any issue, so why now? What is the problem? Carlene couldn't get an answer, so she drew her own conclusions about why they had to go. They go after certain people and certain people they leave alone. And I just feel like they are sabotaging us, particularly. No money is coming in to pay the bills. No idea why they were kicked out. So is it legal, Howard? Yes, it is. This is an example of a city trying to balance regulating businesses while at the same time allowing people to make a living free of those regulations. In this case, the city's trying to control what type of businesses can operate and where. The problem for Paul is his mobile car wash is in the same spot every day, moving him into a different category and giving the city the right to regulate him. Pembroke Pines denied they were targeting Paul after six years at this location that legally the city doesn't consider them a mobile car wash because they're in the same spot every day. Instead, Pembroke Pines calls them a manual car wash that is not allowed without a zoning variance, which can be expensive and difficult to get. But manual car washes are allowed at places like golf courses, car dealerships, and service stations. But Carlene says that didn't work for them. And then when you go around that, it's, it's a different story. They said it's not allowed. Paul and Carlene are now giving up on Pembroke Pines, and the hardworking couple are looking for a new location. Well, you know, if there's anybody that would love to host us, I would love for them to give us a call. If you have a property and you'd like a reliable mobile car wash on it, Paul is ready. Let us know. Feel soaked and washed out? Don't want a watered down way out? We're mobile and can come in to make a splash and leave you with a shiny solution. With this, help me, Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7 News.